All children have dreams. Dreams of hope. Or nightmares of despair. In the next 30 minutes, you can help determine whether a child's dream comes true or whether the nightmare of living in hopeless poverty continues. You can help decide the fate of a child too young to know there's help out there. If only you'll listen now and respond with kindness. In a perfect world, all children would have a safe, comfortable place to live. They'd be protected, nourished, and nurtured by a loving mother and father. Children would be healthy and happy without a worry in the world, and it would show in the way they depict their homes, their families, their dreams, and hopes for the future. But in many places, children often have little more than a cardboard roof for shelter. They're homeless and starving, yet they hunger for more than just food and thirst for more than just water. These children need a chance a small ray of hope in a world of despair. They scavenge garbage with little or no medical care to keep them safe from deadly childhood diseases. No teachers or books to open their minds. The fact is 27,000 children die every day from a lack of the simple necessities you and I take for granted. Clean water, safe food, and a roof over their heads. You're about to meet some of these children firsthand. Each one was born into a world where, through no fault of their own, they had nothing but their dreams to hold on to. And in this kind of stark poverty, sometimes even dreaming seems impossible. Now that's where, together, we can change things. Meet Eduardo. He lives here in this poverty-stricken little village where people are lucky just to have a roof over their heads. Any kind of roof. Every day, hundreds of children like Eduardo drink unsafe water, play in sewers, they eat food you wouldn't touch, and they die from simple childhood diseases like measles, simply because there's no one to provide even basic medical care. These are innocent children. They deserve better. That's where we come in. You and I. Please, don't turn away. Don't change the channel. It may be difficult to watch, and you may be thinking, what can I possibly do? But you can help. You can make a difference for a child like Eduardo, like Maynard, or like Jacqueline. In fact, you can make all the difference in one of these innocent young lives for only 80 cents a day. Christian Children's Fund is one of the oldest and most respected child sponsorship charities in the world. We've saved thousands of children from the cold, dark realities of dismal poverty, one child at a time, for just 80 cents a day. That's right, 80 cents a day. It's enough to send a little boy to school. It's enough to provide a little girl with clean drinking water. Enough for nutritious food or medical care when it's needed. 80 cents, what a small price to pay for hope. Most children you and I know feel safe and secure in their world. They play and learn and discover bright new paths to choose from every day. These children express their feelings boldly, with the kind of confidence only a child living in a comfortable home with three meals a day and people who care about them have. But what about these children, born into a world we can't begin to imagine and that we shudder to see? What about them? What if the only security you knew was a mud floor and a mat you had to carry around all day so someone else doesn't steal it? That's nothing to children who carry the weight of the world on their shoulders. Where conditions are so bad, children must resort to begging or rummaging through garbage to find food to eat or bottles to sell and coming away with nothing. Where children cry with hunger as they try to sleep through another night. This is Michelle. Day after day, Michelle comes here to this filthy, foul-smelling dump to try and make a living. Michelle and lots of other children like her come here to scavenge through dirty, disease-infested garbage, hoping to find cans, bottles, rags, anything they might be able to sell for a few cents to buy food. Children shouldn't live like this, barely surviving in a blighted landscape where every day is a struggle with no end in sight and no promise for tomorrow. Thank you.
But even here amid this unimaginable existence, children still have dreams. Although their dreams are often only for the simple necessities our children take for granted. Food, clothing, shelter, security, and love. But without your help, even these simple dreams will wither and die. Much less dreams of going to school, of maybe one day becoming a teacher or an artist or a doctor. And for every child like Michelle, there are hundreds more who pray each day for help, for hope. That's why we're here today, to help, to give these children hope. And that's why you're still listening, because you know in your heart that together we can change the world for children like Michelle. Even here, a child could grow up to be a teacher, a doctor, even an artist. That is, if you give them the opportunity. With Christian Children's Fund, that opportunity costs only 80 cents a day, 80 cents. To help prevent childhood diseases like malaria, still a deadly killer for many children in the world. 80 cents to treat malnutrition, to provide school supplies. Surely you can spare it. 80 cents means clean water that doesn't have E. coli or staph infection. It means enough food to grow strong and a chance to go to school to help change the world. These things are a natural part of life for some children, yet a distant dream for so many others. It's not impossible to change these young lives. It all happens when one of you makes a decision to pick up the phone and save just one child. Christian Children's Fund is one of the oldest and most respected child sponsorship charities in the world because 80 cents out of every dollar goes to help these hurting children. Last night, 27,000 children died needlessly. 27,000 children died because no one was willing to help. But right now, you have the opportunity to save a child's life for only 80 cents a day. This is your chance to do something that will open your heart and enrich your life like nothing else ever has. All you need to do is pick up the phone and make a toll-free call. Our operators will tell you about the different countries where children desperately need your help. They'll send you a complete sponsorship package so you can evaluate this life-saving decision with your entire family. After you become a sponsor, you will enjoy receiving personal letters and sharing your life with the child you've chosen. You'll see their progress firsthand. And believe me, there is nothing more gratifying than receiving a letter from your own sponsored child whose life has changed thanks to your decision to lend a warm, helping hand. You, and only you, made it possible to give this child the hope of living a normal life. Now, it's your decision. There are so many children in the world who are hungry, and so many who are sick. But if you'll sponsor just one, then there'll be one more child blessed in this world. One more child with a chance to grow up healthy and strong. Please pick up the phone and call now. It could be the turning point in the life of a child. You can make a difference. Call the number on your screen now. Imagine if you lived in a place like this. Now imagine that you had no running water, no refrigerator to keep food from spoiling, or even worse. What if there was no doctor to call and your child contracted an infection that could easily be cured with an antibiotic from a corner drugstore? Your children don't face these problems. They're among the fortunate children who feel safe and secure in the knowledge that you'll take them to the doctor if they're sick and need help. Indeed, that a doctor will even be there. Your children know that a needle can hurt, but they also know it can make them better. Other children would prefer the pain of the needle to the agony of dying from a minor illness that could have been cured. Many children have never seen a doctor 
and a hospital can be located a long way away. Many of these children routinely go to sleep in pain, feeling sick, and sometimes they don't wake up in the morning. For children like Maritz, life can hang in the balance from even a minor skin infection contracted from unclean surroundings like these. Don't be surprised, living conditions here can be that dangerous, and staying healthy is almost impossible. That's why so many children die even before they become teenagers. It's not fair, but it's a sad fact of life in countries where medical care isn't readily available, where simple cuts can become life-threatening illnesses, where colds turn into respiratory infections that kill, and where little children wake up one day to find their playmates gone. For every child like Maritz, there are hundreds of children desperately in need of medical attention, hundreds more that haven't received even the most basic childhood vaccinations for measles, mumps, or diphtheria, and can't get medicine for malaria. That's why we're appealing to you right now to join together with Christian Children's Fund in our efforts to rescue these innocent children from disease, poverty, and despair. What we do works, but we can't do it without you. These children desperately need your help. Christian Children's Fund is one of the oldest and most respected child sponsorship charities in the world. We've saved thousands of children from the cold, dark reality of abysmal poverty, one child at a time, for just 80 cents a day. That's right, 80 cents a day is enough to send a little boy to school. It's enough to provide a little girl with clean drinking water, enough to provide nutritious food or medical care when it's needed. 80 cents, a small price for the hope of a better future.